In France, the respect of equality is crucial, including in the business world. Among other principles, the principle of equal treatment is a key one. Mrs. Biron explains us why. Mrs. Biron, hello. Hello. A lot of countries have legislation on equal pay for equal work. In France, we have the principle of equal treatment. Is it the same? No, it's not really the same. Equal pay for equal work means that an employer can't pay you less or more just because you're a man or a woman. As far as the principle of equal treatment is concerned, that goes rather further. Firstly, because equal treatment concerns not just pay, but also other benefits. Secondly, because equal treatment doesn't just mean that certain grounds can't be used for uh, making differences between employees of different sexes or uh, of different ethnic origins or, or what have you. If they're in the same situation, all employees must be treated equally. Does that mean that all employees from a company, from the top manager to the warehouseman, are entitled to exactly the same compensation and benefits? No. If the employer can show that there's an objective and pertinent reason why there should be differences in compensation or benefits, then those are permitted. So that, for example, all employees need to eat at lunchtime, so lunch and vouchers should normally be given to all of them. But if some work on a site where there's a canteen and others are out in the field, then it might be justifiable to give the lunch vouchers only to those who work in the field. What piece of advice would you give to the employer? Well, really, each time you have a decision to make on what benefits to give uh, to an employee or a category of employees, to think about why you're making distinctions between them and whether that is pertinent to the particular benefits in question. Thank you, Mrs Biron.